This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten Son, our Lord, our Savior, and our Deliverer, the Messiah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah. Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who taught us this 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole four elect, beginning with the Akim, the brothers, as well as my fellow laborers, doing this work in all truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, risking their lives, as well as the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And last but not least, the Aquatium, the sisters, listening, learning, and taking heed to this word in obedience. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Barakatam. Shalom, Mr. Brother Abba Yahweh, with another lesson through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to warn the, the sheep, the flock of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, being us Israelites, okay? Us Israelites are the so called blacks and Negroes, so called Latinos and Hispanics, and the so called Native and Seminole Indians, all right? We are the Hebrew Israelites, the Lord's chosen people, and it's time to repent, all right? But um, this first scripture, which gets brought out a lot, especially, um, you know, recently in these last. In these last days, you know, and it's going to be brought out even more uh, until ultimately Esau, Esau being the so-called white man. Okay, this, this scripture is going to continue to be brought out more and more until Esau makes his final move. Okay, his final move, which he's being directed to make. All right. But um, as you can see, the title of, the, of this lesson, Worm on a, on a Fish Hook. All right. With the in parentheses, through now, man, which is a play. On the word juvenile, or, or rather the name juvenile, all right? If, if you know, you know, you know, this guy, uh, juvenile, a so-called rapper, you know, um, just recently did a remix with, with this, with this guy, uh, Manny Fresh, okay? Um, the original song called Back That Thing Up, or Back That Ass Up, but he made a remix to it for, for his daddy Esau called uh max that thing up you know just you know i have to say it like that for for um for sake of the, the algorithm of youtube okay but this is all a part of esau's devices man a part a part of satan's devices all right esau being the advocate or a worker of satan okay and that word devices goes into evil intentions or evil plans or, or thoughts <laughs> all right and what is you know, first of all, Esau is, is extremely desperate at this point, okay? And that's just, that's not a strong enough word for, for the, you know, Esau has never been this persistent and, and relentless with, with um, trying to persuade or trying to convince somebody to do something, uh, at least pertaining to um, medicine and, and injections, you know, you know getting, getting inoculated. Esau has never been this persistent. All right, he's he's going above and beyond to get Jake, particularly Jake being short for Jacob, talking about us Israelites, to get that injection. And he's using any and every incentive and bribe he can think of to the point to where, man, it's 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 bogus, man, and it's it's, it's gotten out of hand. <clears throat> but is it, you know, it's going to continue to be like that until he can't take it no more. Until he just like, all right, no more, no more, um. You know, incentive. No more trying to uh, bribe or persuade or, uh, or or offering these different things to get this this injection. You know, it's gonna come to a point where he like, man, eff it, and he's gonna apply that pressure, and it's gonna be mandatory for you to get it. And then that's gonna lead to what? The MOB. Okay, the MOTB, I should say. All right, that that RFID. Um, the RFID microchip, all right. That's going to be the um, the next step. But right now, this devil is using these incentives, these different, you know, um, manipulative tactics to get Jake to 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 comply. And more uh, and <clears throat> most recently, again, this guy Juvenile, man, Juvenile, making this <clears throat> this song. Which I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play um the video of it. It's not the actual video, but it's 
a portion of the video and and do speaking explaining why he did what he did all right but you know this this has gotten out of hand man all right and and this you know this dude you know this dude uh juvenile he's not the first celebrity to be uh to be paid off to do this and he's not going to be the last all right there's many more so-called celebrities out there that agree with this that support this that that advocate for this you know but you know some have came out and spoken on it some some just not going to speak on it at all but deep down in their heart they support it they they in they in on it they with it all right but i'm gonna play this video then i'm gonna get some more uh some more some more scriptures Gotta go back to nature and give me straight chat. Girl, you look good, want your fax that thing up. Use a handsome young brother, want your fax that thing up. They know real life, you need to fax that thing up. Feeling freaky all night, you need to fax that thing up. Girl, you look good, want your fax that thing up. Use a handsome young brother, want your fax that thing up. They know real life, you need to fax that thing up. Feeling freaky all night, you need to fax that thing up. I know you can't stand Yes, that is Juvenile and Manny Fresh together again with their new song, Vax That Thing Up. It's a partnership with the dating app BLK. The original song, of course, was Back That Thing Up, or otherwise known as Back That Ass Up. Alright, now I'm gonna I'm play the rest of the video. I'm gonna just get this, this quick scripture, because th this is sad. This is beyond sad. And it's just plain, it's stupid, man. It's stupid, which is why he's being used, okay? He's he's ultimately an undesirable, okay, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This dude... Can, can bring forth no fruit. He's useless, along with these other celebrities, which is why they're they're doing the work of Satan. You know, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. It says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the at the voice of the bird. You know, that, that's just talking about, you know, when the um when there's no work and you have people getting up, you know, real early at the sound of because birds get up early. And getting up at the sound of the bird means you getting up early to go look for work. And that's coming very soon. You know, right now it is, uh, uh, you know, I guess you could say it's a shortage of um, a shortage of work. But, you know, really it's, it's still the effects of getting all of these stimulus checks and these government benefits. You know, but nevertheless, continuing on, it says, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay. And, and do is, is, you know, can be considered a daughter of music, you know. He he was pretty popular uh, back in the day, but you know the daughters of music being brought low, man. This is a new low, to be you know, to be advocating for your people to go trust the oppressor, to to trust the enemy when the scriptures tell us otherwise. Okay, Yahweh by Shema is not, uh, you know, with this, with us trusting our enemy. We have enemies for a reason. They're called enemies for a reason. But you telling you know not only are you you know, what you do is what you do, but not only are you trusting the enemy and putting your life in, the, in your enemy's hands, but you, 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 so you, um, promoting it and you're, and you're, uh, advising others to do the same thing. Juvenile is joining us now. As of this morning, your video has already got about a million views. I'm sure it's going to go way higher than that over the next hour or so. Just tell us how this all happened. Well, BLK reached out to us and, uh, you know, they wanted us to uh, remix Back That Thing Up and call it Vax That Thing Up. And, um, you know, they asked if they thought it was a good idea. And, you know, you know, being somebody that being one of the guys that have been vaccinated, and like I said, it's a family decision. I felt like it was a, a great way to put awareness out there for, for especially for people like me and people, of, you know, people that look like me. And look, we know, um, Juvenile, that when it comes to dating apps, some people want to know the person that they're going on a date with is vaccinated. They actually consider that a positive. They want that protection as they might, uh, you know, get to know someone better. But let's talk about the creative process here, because your lyrics, I mean, they're just so much fun. Girl, you can be queen after quarantine. You say date in real life. You need to vax that thing up. Tell us about how you went through you can see it all in his countenance all in his face man this dude is wicked and he he you can tell he he feels stupid you know he looked like he feels stupid 
And ultimately, people like him, they have no faith. They're unbelievers. Okay, when it, when it comes to believing and having faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, these people are faithless. Okay, and the scriptures speak about, you know, the unbelievers not being defended. Okay, in the day when the Lord judges this place and, and calamity comes among the, among these people, and uh, and you know, uh, we in those perilous times, those dangerous, you know, risky times, people like this is not going to be defended. Okay, they're going to be overtaken in those in those times because they have no faith. Through this and the writing of this remix. Well, they had BLK had their own ideas that they came up with, and. Uh, I, I just, you know, I wanted to be more like the original song, so, you know, I tweaked it a little bit, put some of my ideas in it, but I wanted to really make, you know, to make sense, and uh, Manny Fresh came up with his ideas also, and shout out to Mia X for, for uh, coming on such such short notice, and she, we all put our ideas together over by Trombone Shorty Studio, so I think it was just a great creative process with us working together. You know, this is personal for you. As you noted, you're double vaccinated. And you know people who have suffered or even died from the virus. Yeah. How important is it to you to get this message out, particularly in communities that are lagging behind in vaccination rates, including communities of color? It, it, it means a lot, you know, especially for me. And I'm, and I'm trying to make everybody see it from my point of view. I look at this vaccination like when you was a kid and you first started, your mom took you to school uh, to kindergarten. We had to get these shots. I didn't even know what the shots were then, but I, I, I knew that I wouldn't be able to go to school without these shots. And I think some of these same things are starting to happen across the country. I know in a lot of colleges, you can't be in attendant without without being uh, vaccinated. So I just think that we all should, you know, take time out and, and get educated on it first, and then we all can be vaccinated. You can't get educated on it because they they hiding the facts behind what's in this 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 concoction. They didn't openly come out and just be like, okay, this is what's in it. So just so everybody know, it's completely safe. You know, this is what's in it. We're not trying to hide anything. This is what we're trying to put in you, just so you know. No, they didn't come out like that. They just said, "Okay, surprise, guys. We have a we have a vaccine. All right, we got it. We got the cure. We got the antidote. Now you can come get it." But when when people wasn't starting to come get it, then they start offering these different things. Okay, which, which, which shows you just how cunning and how slimy this serpent Esau is, man. That's why the so-called white man is, is considered the devil, man, because he's a, a cunning devil, man. It's exactly what he is. You know, to, to come so, so, so subtle like that. All right. <clears throat> and, and, and Jacob's just falling for it, eating it up. Man. Hopefully in the future. So look, this the song is so fun. Um, everyone who we've spoken with who knows that you were coming on our show this morning was so excited to hear you talk about this. They love the song. You also know there's been some folks who have been upset on social media, which I think kind of speaks to just how sensitive the topic of vaccine hesitancy is. What do you say to them? You know, a lot of people lost family members. And he know it. He know people ain't with it. He knew people wasn't gonna be with it before he did this. But he did it for what? For the for the offers, for the money, for the you know, the 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 little boost that Esau gonna give him for for doing this. This is some of the I guess the uh, Instagram posts or the um the captions rather of the Instagram posts that people so called black people put in reaction or in response to him doing this. It says, one, one person said, so you puppets decided to take the money and sell your community down a graveyard. And that's, that's, man, I don't know if this person reads the scriptures or, or is familiar with the scriptures, but that's, uh, you know, sort of reiterating what the scriptures say, you know, and I'm, I'm going to get those scriptures real soon. Lord willing. Uh, another one said, y'all ruined a perfectly good hood classic. Uh, juvenile the snake, juvenile the sellout. K okay, bye. <laughs> and he is a snake for this man. Throwing your people under the bus, giving them over to, uh, unto your enemy. All right, said well, another person said, "No, nah, bro, this ain't it. 
black people got to stop selling each other for a check. Another person said, it's a no. Black health matters. Black self-preservation uh, matters. Another one said, let's find the blackest song we can find. Add a vaccination twist to it and see if black people will get vaccinated. Yep, man, that's, that's pretty on point, man. You know, a lot of people not going for this, which is why eventually Esau is not going to offer these things uh, anymore real soon. He's going to make it mandatory. He's going to, you know, this is why slippery, slimy Joe, you know, Joe Biden is about to come door to door like he's just said he would. OK, he's about to come door to door to so-called encourage people to do this. All right. But, it's, you know, you can't you can't trust it, man. But these things have to ha these things have to happen, man. All right. So I send out my condolences to them and their family. And, and I'm so like, um, let me get a, a few scriptures real quick. All right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 23. A wicked man taketh a gift out of his like, out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Okay, who is the who is the wicked man? Okay? Who is that wicked? That would be Esau Edom, the one and only. Alright, the one who came with this with this subtle offer to Thuvanal to do this this um this music video. Oh, you know, as well as Manny Fresh. He pulled a gift out of his bosom so that he, he can use our people, you know, our fellow Israelites, to deceive other Israelites into, you know, consenting, into submitting. You know, therefore perverting the, the ways of judgment, man. So Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Okay? What, what was those gifts that, that this guy, Juvenile, is going to receive? Whether it's money, whether it's more fame. Who knows what they offered him? Whatever they offered him, he accepted it. His, his, his way of judgment has been perverted. And he's being used to pervert the judgment of other Israelites. Okay? Which is why his heart, meaning his mind, that word heart means your mind. His, his mind is destroyed. For thinking that this is okay, thinking it's okay to to you know to uh to be an advocate for for your uh, oppressor, to promote the devices or the intentions of your oppressor to your people. Your mind is destroyed. You through. Let me play the rest of this video. I want them to know that I hurt just like they hurt. I have the same. I've, I've lost family members too, and I, it's a scary. It's it's a slippery slope. So what I say to everybody else outside of that's just speaking on it, man. Just get educated. I'm not telling you, or, you know, forcing you or pushing you to go get vaccinated. I'm telling you, make it make a family decision. Talk to your family and get educated on it, and, and make it make a make the right decision. You feel better. It's uh, lucky for continuing to pause it, but. Again, he's not the first and he's not the last so-called celebrity to be used as a pawn for these these devils. OK, you got people like Chris Rock, you know, people like, you know, Shaq and, and, and countless other so-called celebrities and entertainers who's who's going to who's going to come out or who have came out to promote this, to to, uh, you know, encourage other Israelites to do the same thing and they all say the same thing because they've been given a script you know think about your families this is very serious I've, I know someone who who, who, who uh, fell victim to this or who've you know who, who's been overcome by the blah 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 it's all a script better being double vaccinated at this point yeah I do I actually do but I'm still wearing my mask you know, social distancing and washing my hands and stuff like that. So I'm still doing the same process. My wife not having it anyway. So there, there wasn't a lot of social distancing in that video. I, I just want to be clear. It, a lot of that looked yeah. like it was within six feet and some other stuff. Yeah, I mean, we try to make we try to have a lot of fun with doing it. I'm pretty sure that most people in that video are vaccinated. Not sure, but it was a great. Thing. I guess that's the message, right? You can get closer. If you're vaccinated. Yeah, especially if you want an online date, I think it'd be a smart thing to know that the person you want to date is vaccinated. 
Um, I know we we spied some eggplant emojis in your video. <laughs> I mean, this thing <laughs> this thing is very tongue in cheek. It's very funny, and uh, we love it. Thank you. Keep it up. Fun doing. Thank you for the message you're sending, uh, and thank you for joining us this morning. I really appreciate it. And, and you're going to have to explain the eggplant thing to me, Brianna, at some point. I'm not day. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> right. A coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> and it shows you just how serious Esau is taking this when they, they just laughing about it. When this is supposed to, according to them, it's supposed to be a very serious, a very serious matter. But he went straight into saying, huh, you know, he, while, while laughing, talking about an outbreak of this, of this so-called virus. It just shows you how, you know, they laughing at dude. They not laughing with him. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, everybody got to play their role in this in this movie. Okay, this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's movie. And everybody has their lot in it. All right? First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 11. In those days went there out, went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. All right? Uh, verse 12 so this device pleased them well all right so by wicked men okay wicked israelites to be exact you know being joined unto the heathen being joined unto the oppressor being joined unto the enemy trying to persuade others to do so you know telling them to you know just just trust it don't you know don't worry about uh tuskegee that was a mistake that was a coincidence they didn't mean it they're not that bad you know, we don't know what's in our food. We don't know everything in our food. We don't know everything that's in cigarettes and weed. We don't know everything that's in this and that, but we still take part in it. No, that's wicked, man. That's wicked. All right? And, and to be, you know, again, to, to do these things is one thing, but to, but, to, but to persuade others to do the same thing is beyond wicked, man. And then Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has a judgment for you Israelites that's doing this. All right? Because you're leading his people away from him. All right? The Lord wants his people to return to him, not go do things or take part in things that's going to se further separate them from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh But that's what you people are doing. You, you, you wicked Israelites, man. You want to join them to the oppressor. But this is pleasing unto Esau, like it says. So this device or this, this plan, this intention, this thought, please them. And you don't think Esau is pleased with you niggas submitting? And trying to get others to submit. This is why, you know, he's not a threat. Him and others alike are not a threat to Esau's society and his, uh, his agenda, his, his um, you know, intentions for that, that NWO. They're not a threat. So they're going to be in the background, you know. You know he's going to take the chip. You know he's going to take the chip. But, you know, hey, it's destruction that comes with that. All right, Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. This is the Heavenly Father speaking. They are sadist children. The Lord calling Israelites sadist, meaning stupid. All right, and our people are stupid, man. When, you know, when our people are not being led in the proper way, you know, in order, okay, through the through the laws and, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, our people are gone, man. It says, and they have none understanding. Yeah, because they're not following the, the ways that was given unto us, you know, via the scriptures. All right. The, the scriptures are given, like, as it says, man, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. With, with, if, if, if the scriptures is our instruction in righteousness and people, Israel, these Israelites is not following the scriptures, they're not being instructed in righteousness. So what's the other alternative? Wickedness. All right, it says they are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no un, uh, no knowledge. Okay, it's wise, you know, uh, or Salaki. It's 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 evil, I should say. It's evil to promote your people to getting injected with something they have absolutely no idea what's in it, and it's 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 actual proof out there that's being suppressed and that's being hidden. Okay, but the the little bit of proof that we do see. It's, no, it's nothing good that's coming out of getting injected with this, this concoction. You see people getting, uh, you know, they, they trembling. You know, they're getting, uh, what's that, that disease called? Um, 
Parkinson's, I believe that it is. No, I don't. No, not Parkinson's. Um, I forget what it's called, Salakia. Um, but you know, when when their face get all twisted up and and they they can't move their mouth, yeah, people's heart are, hearts is failing them. People getting blood clots. People getting uh, extreme inflammation in the heart. All all these different things is happening. But you telling your people to go get it. That's you being wise to do evil, but to do good, what would be good? To tell your people to, to man, turn back to your house by Shimmy Shah, man. Don't trust your enemy, no matter what he say. But they don't have no knowledge to do that. And and the scriptures speak about because they don't have that knowledge, they're destroyed. Hosea 4 and 6. Okay, this is Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down. Loving to slumber. Yeah, and our people are, are asleep right now. Our people are, is in that deep slumber, man. You know, they, they our people is in the congregation of the dead. How you going to try to lead somebody and you in the congregation of the dead yourself? All right, it says they are dumb dogs. They cannot bark, meaning they cannot prophesy. You Like a dumb, a, a dog who's dumb cannot bark. All right, that bark is a, a, a warning. Our people ain't warning uh, Israelites. Not warning of one another. No. Our people are alluring each other back to sleep. If they already ain't sleep. Verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Alright, these people are, are, you know, those those hirelings, man. They don't care for the flock. They're not uh, concerned about the well-being of the flock. They only care about, you know... What they can obtain, even if it it, it costs the, the the lives of the flock. All right, it says they all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. Okay, it's all about that gain, man. Verse twelve: Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and will and we will fill ourselves with strong strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Okay, this is the the message that. These these Israelites who have a, a major influence on our people, who have that 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 you know impression, you know, who have an audience, who have a, a platform. This is what they're telling our people, man. Just get comfortable. Don't worry about anything. This is our rest. When the scriptures say this is not our rest, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. Everything about this place, America, Babylon the Great, our captivity, is destructive to us. From, from what we consume, to what we watch, to what we listen to, everything around about us is, is destructive to our, our well-being, man, our spirit. But Jake is telling each other to get comfortable. For what? For, for, gain, for gain. For benefits. For gifts. Matthew 15, and, uh, verse 14, it says, Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind... Both shall fall into the ditch. And that's plain, man. If you were blind and you leading other blind people, y'all all going to be destroyed. Y'all all, all going to fall into the ditch, man. All right? And that's exactly what's going on, man. Hey, dude, Juvenile is, is gone, man. He through. Which is why Brothers is calling him Juvenile. He don't know no better. And if he do, he's not, he's not doing it. You know, like you got the saying, you know better, do better. If he does know better, he's not doing better. He's doing the opposite. And he's, he's bringing others along with him. He's erring and he's causing others to err. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the, the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with the covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. It's a sin to go pricking yourself. You're not supposed to uh, make any um, you know, cuttings in your flesh. That's a sin to be telling your, your, your people to go uh, trust the, trust the uh, uh, oppressor. You know, it's not necessarily a sin in itself, but what the oppressor is about, our, our main oppressor being Esau, he's the man of sin. So it's only, it's only right that he takes part in sin. So by you consenting to the oppressor, you're going to sin in some way, some form, some fashion. So it's nothing good that can come out of trusting your, your enemy, man. 
You, they, you know, these Israelites are covering with that covering, but not of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's the only form of protection and, and, you know, strength and power that we have. But Jake is looking to any and everything else other than Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, jumping down to verse 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Yeah, you trusting in the oppressor, thinking everything going to be peaches and cream, everything gravy, and then instantly you're going to meet your, your you know, you're going to come to your demise. All right, like a wall that's ready to fall. You know, like a wall with, with, with beams that's weak and that's crumbling. Eventually, that, those beams are going to collapse and that wall is going to fall on you. But you trusted in that. All right? And, and hey, it's going to be upon your own head, man. So don't listen to guys like this or, or, or any other celebrity, so-called celebrity or, or entertainer or influencer, whatever they want to be called nowadays. You know, listen to the men of the Lord, man, the apostles and the elders. Who, who, who teaching his word through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, telling you to turn from these ways, man, to repent, to get right, or, or, or just be destroyed, man. There's no in-betweens. All right? But Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Makakadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole elect and abide, babal, kwame, Allah. Salawam.